Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content, you can get early access to my podcast, and you can find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund. And this one is a request from one of my patrons, actually. I think it's going to be a little bit unusual. It is the Yodel King. So controlled, it's wonderful. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm so in shock. It's so fantastic. Oh my god, I love this so much. I wish people yodeled all the time. So yodeling is a cattle call, much like kulning, but kulning is all beautiful and ethereal. This is like the male version and it makes you want to go skipping around the mountains with joy. Maybe I love it because the first show I did in musical theatre was The Sound of Music and I was Gretel as a small child. So maybe it's because of that. But what is yodeling? It's just flipping or it's just, he's doing it so controlled. It's like the opposite of what I teach. It's not making this passaggio, the middle part of your voice, that little break you get in your voice in the middle between chest and head voice, nice and smooth, which we often work on in any type of singing, whether it's opera or pop. Actually, we are making it more exaggerated, this break between chest and head voice by doing like, lady, lady. He, I mean, I train in the opposite way from him, so it's definitely not something I'm particularly good at, but it is making that heavy sound and then the flipping up and using those consonants as little springboards. Lady, lady. Fantastic. I love his little hat brush. He looks like a broom. It's so fast. This guy is absolutely incredible. The interesting thing is loads of people say they are the owners, they are the originators of yodeling. So you think the Swiss, the Germans, of course they say that, a lot of Alpine regions, but also Tibetan monks. Very interesting. Is this bit? His head voice is very distinct as well. It's so penetrating. That is why I guess it bounces over the mountains. It sounds like um, Cockney, Cockney music a little bit. I just cannot get over these leaps. It's not so much of this leap into like a soft falsetto. It's really, really strong and you need that if you want it to echo across the mountains so your cows can hear. Really resonant.
What the world needs, I think, is a mix between yodeling and R&B. That would be my favourite genre ever. Who's going to do it? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.